Uh, we've just heard in the last um, half an hour or so that Parliament will be prorogued from the end of today, yes. uh, not the end of Thursday. Yes. Your, your thoughts on that? Um, well, um, Gerard Batten, UKIP's previous leader, uh, asked for the prorogation of Parliament back in January, January the 31st this year. Uh, and he was right to ask for that. And I'm very glad that uh, uh, the uh, government has caught up with that and realised that uh, our Remain of Parliament is not actually uh, serving the people of this country who voted to leave and is doing everything it can, has done everything it can over the last three years to stop us leaving. So getting the Parliament out of the way seems to me to be a vital step to delivering what the people of this country voted for in 2016 and so it's a great it's great news that it will be prorogued we've had enough of the remainers in uh, parliament behaving like little tyrants and stopping this country from doing what it voted for which is to leave the eu choosing to do it from the end of today though they could have waited till thursday it, it smacks of perhaps an ulterior motive not 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 wanting there to, is an to ulterior the motive the, the motive the is to leave the European Union and the government is right to have that motive because that's what we have voted for. Boris Johnson this morning has said that he is still trying to get a deal despite the fact that Amber Rudd and plenty of other people are co convinced that he's not. Is he just spouting the stuff he, he feels people want to hear and, and Remainers want to hear because many people will feel that actually he is still committed to a no-deal Brexit and many people believe that that would be an absolute disaster. Well, I think it's important to, to, to um, actually qualify um, what no deal is, but also what a deal is. Uh, we saw uh, Theresa May's disastrous surrender instrument uh, produced uh, over the last three years, uh, and it was an appalling deal. It was essentially uh, remain, but taking away our right ever to leave. Uh, so it wasn't a deal at all. Now, we've, we've heard leaving the European Union um, renamed as no deal, but it isn't no deal, because in fact, if we do leave once and for all, then we will very soon, I think, have lots of deals, not just a good deal with the European Union, but good deals with lots of other countries in the world, including the US. So no deal isn't actually no deal. It doesn't. The, the, the circumstances that we call no deal are nothing of the sort. Uh, they are actually lots of deals and very good deals, and Britain will thrive if we can actually leave and then be free to make the deals that suit this country, not just all of the other countries of Europe. So, so I'm not worried about no deal. No deal doesn't really accurately describe what will happen if we're allowed to leave. I want to get your thoughts as, as well on the fact that... Uh, so I've lost my train of thought. Thank you, good. I want to get your thoughts as well on something that is being mooted, which is um, Theresa May's deal being revived, but with the backstop being altered to only uh, apply to Northern Ireland rather yes. than the rest of the UK in order to get that deal passed and Brexit to be delivered by the 31st of October. Would that be something that, that you're in favour of? Absolutely not. Um, the backstop is only one of the terrible, terrible treacheries in Theresa May's surrender instrument. There are many, many other problems with that uh, appalling document. Uh, we had we, Our Parliament actually was right to block the withdrawal agreement on three occasions. Uh, it contained... Uh, um, essentially handing over of our sovereignty. It was staying in the European Union uh, in, in, uh, in all but name. Uh, it, it, it contained uh, a, a really, a, it was a terrible surrender for this country, the withdrawal agreement, the and it must not be revived. By 31st of October, would you not? No, you not at all. No, not at all. In, in that document really means uh, not leaving. It was Brexit in name only, uh, was what that document was about. It was carefully constructed um, to try to obfuscate the fact that we were signing up to um, de facto membership of the European Union. So, no, uh, leaving really means what is now called no deal. Um, but it won't be no deal, as I've said. Uh, it will bring us lots of good deals, uh, including a good deal with the EU. Uh, how long that will take, I don't know. My guess is it will be quite quick uh, once uh, countries like Germany realise that um, their, their automobile industry, for instance, depends on good trade with the UK. So we will get a great trade deal after we leave and it will improve uh, as the EU gets used to the fact that we've left the EU and also recognises that the EU economies are um, heavily dependent on one of its best customers, that is the United Kingdom. We're, we are the customer, we call the shots, we buy lots of EU product and they will want that to continue so they will be in the end pragmatic and prepared to do sensible deals with us.
appreciate your time. Thanks Thank a lot. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks.